Hi, I'm Bill Toller, founder and CEO of California Distilleries here in Temecula, where we make high-end craft spirits. We make bourbon, vodka, whiskey, and a couple of flavored spirits. Our family's been making liquor for almost 300 years. We can trace father teaching son, father teaching son, back to 1731 in County Cork, Ireland. Hi, I'm Billy, co-founder of California Distilleries. My dad is my business partner, thinks he's the boss, but I'm the real boss. My son is actually my business partner. Um, it was actually his idea to create this business, and so far we're doing very well. All joking aside, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to work with their dad. Um, privileged that I have that opportunity. And my son, as far as we can tell, is the very first person in our line that never sold bootleg liquor. And he's learning as good as any of us ever learned. Uh, a few years ago, when we first started this process, uh, I originally came to my dad and he agreed to go into business with me and start this business venture with one rule. As soon as it was no longer fun, we both walk. A lot of people want to know why craft spirits are different than your typical manufactured spirits that you buy at your local liquor store. Well, that's because we spend a lot of time uh, making a really good craft spirit. And when I say that, there's no special recipe, there's no smoke and mirrors. We actually spend a lot of time removing all those things from the alcohol that you shouldn't be drinking. And that's a historical educational thing that you come virtually on a taste and get the details on. <laughs> um, we just make spirits the right way, the way it should be. There's no secret tricks to how we do it. It's just been done the right way for so long. Father teaching son, father teaching son for several hundred years. So folks have always really liked their alcohol. That's never been a problem. When we became legal, we found out there were certain rules and laws that we were unaware of like distribution and how the sales channels work. Unfortunately, my son and I were able to work through that and figure out what we had to do. We spent a lot of time acting as vacuum cleaner salesmen, going door to door to liquors, bars and restaurants, asking them if they'd like to taste and carry our products. So a lot of people always ask me, what's my favorite spirit we make? And really, it's just really difficult to choose one product that I make that's the best. So. so I've been making alcohol most of my life. I actually started learning how to do it when I was about nine with my grandpa. Uh, my father kept me engaged and so I've continued to, to make alcohol since I was about nine years old. My son on the other hand was kind of a sissy. He didn't want anything to do with alcohol. He was busy riding skateboards and bicycles and chasing girls. Uh, eventually he grew out of that and decided he needed to make it all. So uh, he came to me and so wanted to learn how to do it, but he wanted to do it legal. And he used to come to me and say, hey, Pops, you know, we should sell this. I look at him and go, well, I do. He'd say, no, 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 we need to make this legal. And I'd say, well, I don't know how to do that. You need to figure it out. So he would come back to me and say, I really think we can do this, Pop. We really need X, Y, and Z and some license. And so I said, that's great. You need to come up with a business plan and show me what that is. And he did. When I approached my dad, um, he originally had told me I was coming to him wanting a partner or an investor, to which of all I said yes. And he said, usually when people come to me with this type of thing, they have an executive business plan. So when Billy told me that uh, he was wanting to do this, I realized he was actually serious, especially when he provided me with a, an executive business summary. I went to his mother and I said, I really think your kid wants to do this. And she said, well, can you do it? And I said, I don't know. She said, well, you get all this crap out of my house? And I said, well, I don't know, maybe. Um, and that's how we started. And next thing we did, we started looking for uh, locations, doing research and what the laws were, um, what the requirements were. And apparently we found out that each state has their own laws. You have the federal requirements and you have individual state requirements, individual county and city requirements. So we had to do a lot of research to find out how we could open a business in Temecula. Took eight months doing some research, talking uh, with a lot of friends in the industry that have helped me out, um, gather a lot of the PNLs and demographics, um, everything that I would need to come to an investor. And I was able to put that into an executive business summary and send it to my dad to which he finally decided that 
Okay, let's give this a shot. So based on the new laws and the changes that have been made in California, um, we're happy to announce that in almost 300 years, starting very soon, we'll be able to sell legal bottles directly to the public. And we enjoy the people that come by and visit. We thank everyone that supported us, and we ask you to please come by for a tasting and tour and try our products to see how great they are.